I, I was going to ask you, it sounded like you're like the last spot on the team, but you're on the tour. Tell us about the 1984 race. Um, how many stages? Was it a team or an individual an event? I mean, were you actually at the point back in 1984 when you were cooperatively working with a team? And and how was that for you as a writer? Um, a lot of questions there. Let's see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Break it down. <laughs> We were a team. Uh, I mean, we were the USA team. So we were the national team. None of us had ridden together before. We barely knew each other. And we we had our team manager there was French and didn't speak English. And I don't think he really even knew anything about cycling. So we weren't working <laughs> as a team at the race. And it was, you know, I went into the race thinking, I just want to finish this. And the French didn't think we would finish either. So that was a big part of it is the whole thing for us. It was the first year. The whole thing for us was, are we going to finish this? You know, what skill level do we need? And, it, but the thing too, with the Tour de France, it's so crazy. It's so different. It's so uh, enthusiasm, so much enthusiasm in France. And you know, autographs every second and the streets were lined with people when we raced and all that gave you so much of a boost, you know, so much energy just from the crowds themselves. And so there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of teamwork, but what? yeah, I mean, just trying to finish the race was a big thing. I got, there was one woman on our team that was supposed to win and the first day I got third and I was chastised for that because I don't know what. So there was no, there wasn't a big lot of camaraderie in our team. We were pretty much on our own. When you say, Italy. when you say the French weren't sure that you're going to finish the race, is it you, the women who are running, who are doing the Tour de France? Or are you the American team that were entering the Tour de France? The men, the organizers, the men. Did not think women could do that. So then you're standing on the podium and and as an American and a, f a female finisher of the Tour de France, how did that feel? Well, of course, it felt great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, I really never thought that we wouldn't finish just because you just, you don't quit. You just don't quit. I mean, your your body can do so much. So when I was on the podium, it was more to me like I have so much more skill than I thought. And I was very proud of myself and very, um, a little bit not believing, but climbing was always my forte. So it was the perfect race for me. And I'm not a one day racer. You know, I got stronger as the race went on. As I rode into it, I got stronger every day, whereas I think other people got tired because they don't rest enough. So. I think that's where rest really paid off for me.